most of us who are this deep into the Sims community have grown very accustomed to using cheats in this game for like everything. I only use two Sims mods and both of them are to add additional cheats to the game. Basically, I don't even know how to play the Sims without cheats anymore. And I'm, I'm being kind of dramatic. I don't actually use cheats in most of my gameplay. Okay, that's a lie. I do play the Sims without cheats a lot. I never use money cheats or anything. I mostly use cheats for like trying to kill Sims faster or building and stuff. But specifically when it comes to building, I really cannot do it without cheats. When you think about money cheats and alt placing and using move objects or like the career unlocks cheat, even using debug for stuff like landscaping, that's all stuff that's basically second nature to me and I almost don't even realize that I'm doing it. So when I've tried in the past to do no cheat builds, it takes a lot of effort for me to not accidentally do it. And I feel like it oftentimes doesn't turn out that well. And so I thought that today we could try to give another no cheats build challenge a shot, but this time maybe try to do it with horses because the horse pack just came out and I haven't really done much of that with them. I've been building all kinds of barns and stables, but I keep using move objects and then they end up not functioning. So maybe it's for the best if I stop using move objects today. And we are going to try to build an entire ranch without using any cheats. We don't have a lot of money to work with either because we only have two sims. So we've got like about 20,000 simoleons. So I'm trying to think of ways that I can do this on a budget. My first thought is that we could try to maybe make something a little bit L-shaped and then this section would be a stable for the horse and the rest of it would be the main house. I'm not really sure how well that's going to work, but that was my first thought. Oh no, I've made it way too big. <laughs> it's way too expensive. This is not gonna work. Maybe the door to the stable has to be on the other side. I kind of want it on the front though because I like how that looks. It's gonna be fine. It'll be fine. We'll figure it out. It's all good. This is plenty of space. We could probably steal some more space for the main house too. <laughs> <laughs> oh no. Okay, well, there. How about how about that big? We've got 15,000 simoleons left. That's not too bad. I think 15k is manageable for a whole house. <laughs> we we can do that, right? I wanted to put a dormer up there, but it's not going to work. <laughs> okay, let's use Oh no. Oh, I was about to put on move objects to place these dormers. We can't. Oh God. Okay, well that's annoying. Cause look, they're like floating. Maybe I shouldn't do that. That does kind of complicate things, huh? I hadn't, I hadn't really thought about that. I like to do things like this where I put a fake chimney on the house. Cause I think that it helps to make it look a little bit more interesting. But right now this house does not look interesting at all. Like not even in the slightest. So I have to try and think up some ways to fix it. I can't even blame the cheats part. Cause it's it's like not, it's not the cheat's fault, it's me. Okay, so what I'm thinking inside is there will be a little bathroom right here. This is gonna be the bedroom. And then the rest of this will be the kitchen living space and everything. This is impossible. I don't know what I think I'm doing. I had in my head that I was gonna get like a big fence for the horse and all this stuff. No, no. You won't. Maybe I should start by buying all the necessities before we go and like spend too much money. Maybe I'll start with the kitchen. I was picturing the cabinets being somewhere back here. And actually, speaking of kitchens, I wanted to tell you a little bit about our sponsor today, Factor. I brought you to my real life kitchen for this, which is kind of fun, because I don't know if I've ever made a YouTube video in here before. Factor delivers fresh, never frozen, ready-made meals right to your doorstep. You just heat it, eat it, and enjoy. They've got options for everybody. They offer keto, chef's choice, calorie smart, even vegan and vegetarian options. I don't eat meat, and I must say that I've always been really impressed by their veggie options. I've actually got a handful of them right here. So this week, we have got a peanut Buddha bowl, Caribbean spiced tofu, we also have garlic and herb roasted mushrooms, a vegetarian tamale bowl, and some roasted vegetable pasta. I'm about to make lunch, and I think I might have the tofu with black beans, rice, mango salsa, and coconut jerk sauce. This is what the finished product looks like. Or, well, I guess it's not finished, so I haven't cooked it yet. <laughs> but this is the bowl, and all I have to do is microwave it for like two minutes. It is so nice to have some easy, low hassle, ready, prepared, nutritious meals for busy days. It can be hard to find the time or energy to cook sometimes, so it's really nice to have these like ready prepared delivered straight to my door. So if you're interested, you can head to factor75.com and use the code lilsimsy50 to get 50% off your first factor box. I am going to eat this now. So thank you again to factor for sponsoring today's video and make sure you check out that link down below and use code lilsimsy50 to get 50% off your first box. And with that, let's get back into the Sims. Okay, back to the build really quickly. I'm just going to put in like all the main priority furniture. I really, 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 really want to have a fireplace. I know it's too expensive. I know 
no, but like how cute would that be? This is adorable. The living room will be kind of in this area. I don't really know what all I can afford in the bathroom, so I'm just gonna get some basic stuff for now, and then if we can upgrade it, good. One really nice thing about Horse Ranch is that the beds are so cheap. This bed is only 445 simoleons, and it looks beautiful. 550, ooh, <laughs> probably not. We can get this little wardrobe, and maybe we can have a desk or something. I know, building starter homes is really weird, because we're furnishing it in like the strangest way right now. <laughs> But I just want to make sure we have all the basics in. Oh no, speaking of, we need to make sure we have horse things because I almost completely forgot to add in stuff for them. We do have a couple necessities. I don't think the horse bed is that expensive. This rug's only 70? Oh my god. Horse ranch is such a good pack. <laughs> That's so nice. Look, even this cabinet, super nice cabinet, only 175. We can totally use the good sink too. I literally can't find the horse bed. I know I can just search for it, but oh, there it is. Sorry. Yeah, it's only 50. That's not bad. That's actually really cheap. Okay, we have all the basics <laughs> aside from windows. I haven't done windows or doors. We do need to add those in still. Hmm. <laughs> Okay, this is harder than I thought because I'm so used to alt placing windows and like using move objects to get them in the right spot. This, um, this kind of complicates things. I think I'll use this open one inside of the horse area. Oh my god, the color schemes on this stuff are gonna make me so sad. <laughs> I wonder what color we should do. Maybe we could try and make it all yellow. These little yellow and white swatches are actually kind of adorable. I did literally just build a yellow house for my cats though, so maybe I should pick a different color. <laughs> Maybe we could do the little green. I don't think that the shutters look nice. I do think that this kind of cute minty greenish color. No, 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 no. Why don't any of the swatches match? Why does the mint have this like wood color instead of white? Deep breath. It's okay. It's gonna be okay. There isn't a solid white on this either, so that's like super cool. <laughs> this does come in solid white at least. Ah, uh, the placement of it is so weird. I'm so used to being able to just alt place stuff, but we can't today. Excuse me? That's white, right? Oh, maybe it is white and the color just looks weird. Oh no, it's not white. Never mind. <laughs> I thought, oh, maybe, maybe it is white and it was all along. I just couldn't tell. No, no, it wasn't. I have changed my mind completely and we're doing wood. This has been kind of a roller coaster for me, but <laughs> I finally figured out what I want. We're doing wood. Wood everywhere. Oh my god. It's fine. It's fine. Everything's fine. I don't know if I'm gonna use this little item anymore. It doesn't really fit anywhere without move objects. <sighs> I guess I could go in the hallway. I guess it's just kind of tight. I'm so stressed out right now. <laughs> Everything I want to do, like I'll place this couch. I want to use F5 to place things on quarter tiles. I'm not letting myself do that, obviously. So it's just... <sighs> It's just difficult. Also, I totally forgot to buy kitchen appliances. That would probably be a good thing to do before I forget, because I'm gonna furnish the whole house and then be like, oh my God, I don't have a fridge. So there, that functions now. This wallpaper, oh look, this wallpaper is also a little bit cheaper. So that's good. It looks so ugly. <laughs> Oh my god. Do you think it would be really weird to have multiple different kinds of wood paneling used? My initial thought right now is that I think it would be cute if I had the vertical on the barn and then horizontal everywhere else. And I've also sort of got like the main building painted in stone. Maybe the black roof helps tie it together better. We really, really, really need columns everywhere. Okay, there we go. This is actually not so bad. We only have 3,000 simoleons left. Everything is, is like completely and totally fine. I think that I feel good about this. I like how it looks from the front now. We did manage to like fix it a little bit. I would love to use some pretty horse ranch flooring in here. We could probably get a really cute little brick patio in the back. I'll do dirt in the stable. And before I forget, I'll probably adjust all of this different wallpaper later to make it look a little bit cuter, but, but it's for the best to just pay for it now before we get too far ahead. Oh, I so wish I could use debug landscaping. <laughs> this is horrible. I'm so used to just grabbing whatever debug free stuff I want for cheap houses like this. Oh my God, I think I alt place these trees also. Wait, let me redo. I think I alt place without even thinking. When you hold alt, you can like free place and free rotate items. And like I mentioned, I'm so accustomed to doing that that I just do it without thinking. And I, I think I did that just then. How do people do this? Genuinely, how? How are you meant to landscape without cheats? I feel so lost right now. I, I like actually don't know how to do what I'm doing. I want to get them close together. This is making me so upset. <sighs> if you if you alt place it, you can do it. But without alt, you can't. 
I'm also so used to sizing stuff down and like scooting stuff close together and all of these things that we can't do right now. Maybe I'll try and do terrain paint first. I think a little bit of terrain paint is gonna help us out. This is free and there's also no cheating involved. It's like physically impossible to cheat with terrain paint. So that's a good start. So we have like this big section of terrain paint down. And then I wanna layer a little bit of darker terrain paint on top, kind of to try and blend it into the grass a bit more. They're kind of like different colors. Maybe that's a bad idea. <laughs> oh, maybe it looks bad. I don't know, we'll see. We'll see about that. Oh, this is only five simoleons. Oh my God, this grass might be our savior. This is like the prairie grass that can grow in game. I forgot how cheap it is. And it also layers better than the other grass in game. Like the other landscaping stuff doesn't really layer as well as this does. Oh my God, this has completely saved us. <laughs> I don't think we could have done it without that. Like, I'm serious. I don't I don't know if there's another option. So this is huge. Okay, we can get a little horse ball in the front. Should I give us a ranch sign? 450. Oh my god. Yeah, I'm gonna do it anyway. <laughs> I don't care. I don't care that it's too expensive. Maybe I'll put like a little chicken on it. 75. Are they all 75? Okay. Or wait, does this work? Oh, I don't know. Rustic welcoming archway. This one is cheaper. Maybe that's better. And maybe I can try and put in like some pretty white flowers because these are only worth 20. So I could try and like add those in in a few spots. Um, I don't know. <laughs> what do you think about that? Is that, oh, I don't think it's very good. Maybe if I had like a base game flower box or something, cause those come in white. Can't intersect other objects. Are you serious? That counts as intersecting. Oh my God, maybe not. I think the flowers look bad. They're like kind of random. I like it, but I don't think it matches anything. And I don't know how to tie it in. I actually don't know what to do. Maybe if I had better landscaping up here. Oh my God. I can't put it any closer than that. <laughs> <laughs> how do people do this without cheats? I want to alt place it so bad. I, I don't know how to do this. I actually don't know if I can landscape without cheats. It's unbearable. I, I don't think it's like humanly possible to do. Even like sizing stuff down, I always size plants down when I landscape and I just put like two the same one next to each other, but one is small. I can't do that either. Or I would like alt place some little plants like this and scoot them all close together, but I can't hold alt to free place things either. So I'm, I'm out of options. Anything I can think of doesn't work. Oh no. Okay, let me get a mailbox. Any sort of mailbox will do. Maybe just right there. All right, let's try and like actually finish the inside. We can focus more on the exterior once the interior is complete, but we should probably do this part first because we are struggling with this. So in the interior, lots of wood paneling and just in general wood stuff everywhere. I'm guessing. I do think that this beautiful fireplace really helps us. We can try and do some fun chandelier type stuff also. I'm basically looking through everything that comes in Horse Ranch because most of it is not expensive at all. Oh no, oh no. I forgot about a trash can. That's 200 simoleons, okay. <laughs> Yikes. <laughs> okay, that leaves us with very little money, but that's fine. I was saying that a lot of the Horse Ranch stuff is very inexpensive, so it helps. I think I'd like to use this red color. I love that actually. We can get a Matching coffee table. I might reuse the same chandelier. There's not a lot of places that I can put this. <laughs> the dining table can't be placed in many other places. And I like the dining table being in line with the fireplace. I'm kind of struggling with where to put the living room stuff now though, because I, I kind of wish that I could, again, alt place it just a little bit, but I can't. Oh my God, I can't even put this here. Oh no. Maybe I'll put that on the back patio. I do like this little table thing, or it's a bench, not a table. What am I talking about? I like it. I think it's cute. Can I do a rocking chair in the front or does that not fit either? Oh my God. How do people live with no move objects? I can put a rocking chair inside. That's 300 simoleons. Is there a cheaper one? Oh, this is only 125. Do you think it's weird to have towels there? It might be a little bit. <laughs> it might it might be a little bit strange, but that's okay. Now I'm struggling with TV placement because I can't fit stuff together the way that I want to. Oh, that's cute. Okay, these little utensils are nice because that's a very simple thing that only goes in the corner and I don't need to worry about any other clutter. Oh, maybe I could get like this little fireplace. I know that's expensive. It's probably unnecessarily expensive too, but, but maybe that's like a fun thing that I could use on this wall instead of a, I don't know, instead of a TV. I'm not sure if that's good or not. Oh my God, I can't put anything. Wow, that's amazing. There really is like so much less space than you think when you try and do this stuff. All right, so in this little kid's bedroom, I'm picturing that I'll try and use maybe a cute 
green color scheme or something. There's, oh my god. <laughs> you can't even place the rug where you want it to be. Okay, I can't put the rug in the corner. I can't size up and down the rug. Super unsure of what on earth can be done with this rug, but I'll figure something out. Can I just come back to that? Cause I, I can't, I need a moment. <sighs> okay. <laughs> This is the bathroom. We're in the bathroom now. I have decided to use a tub instead of a shower. I don't know why, because I think it is a little bit more expensive, but I also think that it just looks better. Super unsure about that thing, but it's an idea. And then maybe I can just get a mirror. Ew. So far I've gotten away with only using base game and horse ranch, I think. So I, I might try and keep that up. This towel is only 65, so that's an easy thing to add in. Ugh, <laughs> I don't know where to put it. I wanna alt place it so it's like right there, but I can't. I wanna alt place it here, but I can't. We'll come back to that. I'll just leave it. The bathroom, not much else can be done in there anyway. Now I'm thinking that I wanna rearrange this bedroom a little bit more. It only has one relatively small window, which kind of sucks, but I do think that this amount of furniture is fine and works well. I can try and do some accent walls, maybe like a stone behind the bed. And the bed does come in some kind of cool swatches, so we can use this one. Right now, I'm really, really, really wishing that I was able to like scoot the bed up against the wall and scoot the nightstands closer. I always do that, so I'm really used to it. And this, I think, looks bad, but rules are rules. And we agreed that we would not do that, so I won't. I'll just sit here and complain about it. That's kind of an interesting color on those lamps, isn't it? I like how this all looks together and it's fully functional. I don't think I should add anything else. Maybe, well, maybe if I got some books because there isn't a bookshelf in this house. So some little set of books might be good. I gotta stop stalling. I have to actually do the kid's bedroom now. Maybe I could use this little rug instead because this should come in. Oh, look at how cute that is. Oh my goodness. Okay, we can make that work. Okay, so first thought is that maybe we could get a little nightstand. We'll put it next to the kid's bed. This little critter light, this is only base game, but it has some cute swatches and it kind of matches because there's a fox and then this is covered in animals. Uh, I'm gonna get a kind of expensive dresser. <laughs> That's so pricey. Blarfy is quite cheap, so I could put Blarfy. Uh, I don't think I can use any other money in here. <laughs> I also don't think that I can decorate it much more than this. Maybe Blarfy can go there. I can't even put Blarfy in the corner. Are you seeing this? <sighs> okay, Blarfy is better next to the dresser, I guess. The kid can have some books too. Books are always a good touch because that's like an easy functional item. I should probably now actually think about the horse's bed because I want to make sure that everything is totally good and functional in here too. The horse doesn't need a lot. We've got a spot for them to eat, there's some clutter, there's a bed, they can drink water out here. They do have the ball outside as well. And then we have 147 simoleons to figure out the whole rest of the outside. Oh my God. All right, prairie grass is the way. I should hopefully be able to use a little bit of this in the back. I think that helps. It gives us like a little private space back here. I kind of want to have one more fence. I know it's expensive, but if it were up to me, I would love to fence this in completely just so that there's like some sort of distinction. Maybe I should spend money on something for this wall. Ooh. Oh, this might be nice. A woohoo bush. We could put it like right in the front. <laughs> I'm kidding, I'm kidding, I'm kidding. It is like a nice gameplay feature though. Like when you think about it, it can be right outside the kitchen window. And then you've got a whole other place to nap. It's like a third bedroom. Second bathroom, I mean, it, it covers all your bases. <laughs> oh, wait a minute. Oh my God, I didn't even think about this. I should have gotten a horse thing. Oh, yeah, no, no, we should have that instead, duh. Like without a doubt, no question, we need to have one of these. Well, that's okay. That takes up a lot of space and it's not that expensive. And then imagine once I have some terrain paint under it, it's gonna look really good. That totally fills in the whole lot with nothing on this wall. <laughs> There's still nothing on this wall. I had to get rid of the TV unfortunately, and um, I'm not sure if I can put it back. I guess if I got rid of the computer, I could do something. I just like having a computer for my Sims. Maybe I could do a really small table with the TV on it. Desperate times call for desperate measures. It's not my fault that I can't fit anything else. It's the game's fault. I can afford more toys this way, actually. I might get rid of the bookshelf then. Maybe I could buy something just more fun in general. Like, what if we got this item and the kid could maybe like be a scientist? <laughs> no, I don't like how it looks. <gasps> There's a little horse toy. Oh, duh, that's perfect. This kid is lucky that I've got money now. I can give you another picture. That makes a huge difference too. It was kind of bland in here before. <laughs> okay, 142 simoleons left. What else can we add? Anything cute on this? Oh, this is like a little horse. Uh oh, I can't click on it. It's like a little sign. Oh my God, I can't even put it up that high. Are you kidding? <laughs> what are you supposed to do if you don't have cheats in this game? 
You can't do anything. I think the inside can be done, so maybe I'll spend the rest of my money trying to figure out stuff to put out here. I'll put some dirt underneath this. Terrain paint can go a long way if you try hard enough with it. We can try and like layer a little bit with the dirt too. I'll paint dirt all the way around the outside of this. I'm layering like three different colors of dirt terrain paint because I know that I can't afford any other plants. I also can't fit any other plants because there's no move objects. So I'm just uh, using a whole bunch of dirt, dirt everywhere <laughs> to try and figure out something here. All right, is that, I mean, is it too much dirt? Is it a good amount of dirt? I wish that I could landscape it more. This is so hard for me. Maybe we can get a little extra bit of fence. I can afford like, <laughs> <laughs> the tiniest little bit of extra fence. Look at that. That's so pitiful. Maybe I could put some in the back. I kind of like the idea of trying to enclose the lot more, but I guess we can't afford it. We do have money again for the pea bush. So this is always a possibility <laughs> if we wanted to try and use this. I mean, no one is stopping me. Maybe I'll put it around the side. It's kind of like a fun little surprise. Maybe I can try and get a pretty big patch of prairie grass back here and then put a tree near it or just a, a big patch of prairie grass in general. That might be okay. I wish that it was grown more. If there was like a little bit more variation in it, it would look a lot better. But for now, that might be the best that we can do. Well, no, hold on. I have some more money. Can I put, oh look, a plant. See, that's lovely. There's a plant up there. We have seven simoleons left. <laughs> That's so bad. Okay, we did the best that we could. Considering the house has no cheats, I don't think the inside is terrible. I'm actually kind of impressed by how much we managed to fit with the starter home price too. I think the landscaping is the hardest part. It's not so bad doing interiors with no cheats. There's a few things, like I wish I could have placed the rugs differently. I wish I could have had something bigger on this wall. Like I kind of wanted to orient the living room a little bit closer without having it be this close to the platform, but it's not that big of an issue. It's more just the outside. I, I wish that I could landscape keep it differently. I'm so used to using all these different debug plants and using all these cheats to place all these flowers everywhere. And then you just can't, we can't do that with no cheats. Even if I had all the money in the world, I think I still might have used the prairie grass just because I can't achieve the look that I want with like the overgrown flowers without move objects. I'm kind of curious to see what would happen if I did let the prairie grass grow a little more. So I might actually let my Sim go sleep. This doesn't count as cheating, right? He's just sleeping. And you know what? What's a bonus? You don't have to worry about like any of this stuff glitching or needing play tested because there's no cheats. So nothing's placed in a weird way. Oh, see, look, that actually looks a lot better with it grown a little bit more. Okay, that is a massive improvement. All of a sudden it looks good. Problem solved. I will put it on the gallery. It looks way better this way. No cheats, horse ranch. Two bedrooms, one bathroom. I built this little horse ranch starter home using no cheats. This was way harder than I thought it was gonna be. I always think it's not gonna be that bad. And then I get to landscaping and it's bad every time every time. All right, well, I think on that note, I might end this video right there though. I hope that you all enjoyed it. It's been a little bit since I built a horse ranch. I kind of obsessively made like only horse ranches for about a month straight when the pack came out and then I, I didn't do one again. So <laughs> I enjoyed this. I actually played with this Sim doing a rags to riches horse thing on my Twitch streams. And it was really fun. His name is Justin Guy, like just, just a guy. <laughs> and he's got a horse named Charlie. But if you enjoy that kind of thing, I can link my Twitch streams down below because I do stream on Twitch every single day. We play a lot of sims over there so make sure you check it out thanks again to factor for sponsoring this video head over to factor75.com and use code lilsimsy50 to get 50 percent off your first factor box i will have that all linked down below for you as well thank you thank you thank you for watching and i'm gonna catch you all tomorrow okay bye everybody this may be one of the first times that I've used a sim that isn't Stanley Humphrey as my test sim for a video. It feels kind of wrong not having my little weenie sim out there. 